in order to remove water by rotor vapor apparatus you need to use low pressure and uh, you can decrease more but you have to put in your head and in your mind that you need to go very 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 slowly yes because if you go very fast you will have a lot of bubbles inside the flask and then bubbles will be crowded and will take substances from the liquid and here you will not have a transparent liquid you will have you will have also your step senses and this is not uh, practical as you see here as we know the boiling point of water is 100 degree but if we use 100 degree here of course we will donate we will donate our uh, mixture we will not have stable molecules for this reason we use only 40 degree and we decrease the standard pressure of water is 70 millibar and you can decrease more look but you need to go very very slowly I will uh, go down only with two and you will see look here bubble will get produced all right so when bubbles get produced here it might create a problem you need to have only uh, evaporation like that small bubbles but if you have uh, a big amount of bubbles of course your uh, molecules will be will come up through these tube and will come down the, then will uh, you will lose the concentration of your uh, mixture so go very 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 slowly I'm decreasing only by one look here I have 45 I'll decrease only one 44 and I'll wait okay waiting until five a minute then if there is no bubbles I'll decrease more only with one one or two it depends okay but if you go down very quickly of course you will not evaporate your water and you will be um, bothered and be struggled and confused what's going on uh, but this is it so it takes a lot of time sometimes uh, to evaporate for example uh, 30 ml of water you will need maybe two hours yeah this is how it works but there is um, no way or you will have to use a lyophilizer so if you have a lyophilizer you can use it also 